it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom binder cover or a planner cover. So if you've got one of those three ring binders with the um, like clear plastic sleeve thing attached to the front, you can make a design in PicMonkey, print it out and then slip it in the front. Really good if you're organizing your school or subjects into different folders or like your finance, budgeting, all that sort of stuff. If you I wanted to make a custom um, planner cover and then like laminate it, do your punching and then add it to the front of like your happy planner, for example, you can use this same tutorial for that as well. Um, one problem with PicMonkey is that when you create a new template, it's in pixels only, so you would need to convert it. I have done that with online tool. Um, but if you're doing something non-standard page size like Happy Planner or even Erin Condren, pretty much any of them that are like seven by nine, I would make it at full page size. So if you're in the US, that would be US size paper, eight and a half by 11 inches. If you're in Australia like I am, or if you're in the UK where we use A4, you would just make it at A4 page size. And then when you want to print it out, you would change the page size in your printer menu. All you need to do is just go custom page size, enter in the dimensions, click print, trim, and, and then it's done. So I do have a link down below if you're not sure where to find that setting in your printer menu. Um, so long story short, make it at full page size and then you can resize it to whatever you want later on, A5, 7x9, whatever. So let's go create new. I'm going to go with blank canvas. Um, PicMonkey does have some pre-made templates, but no um, planner covers that I've seen so far. So this is what I was talking about with pixels. So I'll make one at US letter size. If you wanted landscape page orientation, do the bigger number first. So I'm going to do portrait ways. So we'll do 2550 by it was 3300 and click make it. So it will load a blank template where you can either add a um, digital paper, which you've uploaded, or you can use their textures menu. So I'll just show you their textures menu first. So they have a whole bunch of backgrounds here that you can choose from. Um, most of these I think would be better for like a photo background, maybe for an invitation or something like that. For a binder cover or a planner cover, I like these five down the bottom here. In particular, I like this seasonal pattern. Now it does say seasonal and some of them like Christmas theme because I'm mean, filming this in December. Um, if uh, it changes though, just keep in mind because it does say seasonal. So if you like a pattern, maybe print it out and, and use it now. Um, really love this flamingo. How cute is that? I really like these hearts as well. Some other hearts. So you can click around and it will show you a little preview. That looks really cute. You can change the scale of the pattern. Absolutely love this menu, and this is the main reason that I recommend using PicMonkey for a binder cover. You can make it larger, you can make it smaller. That's not um, very easy to do in Photoshop, and this one here, if you untick that, it will make it a bit squishy, so I recommend that you keep the proportions. Um, but yeah, you can easily just change the size of it. So I'm going to go with this hearts one here, make it a little bit bigger, and then when you're happy with it, you can hit apply. If you like... Um, this design, but you maybe want it to be a bit more of like a background, just click fade and it will reduce just like the intensity. Um, what well it does, oh, there you go. On the others, make it a bit more lighter. Um, I'm, happy with, I'm happy with that though, so let's click apply. And now we can add whatever we want to put on the front. So to get like a frame, I call it, go to basic. So we can add a circle, for example, and then you can add your um, text over the top. To align to the center, you see that red line that appears and you sort of feel it like snap a bit, similar to in Photoshop. Um, that means it's been aligned to the middle of your page. If you wanted it in the center, just wait until the two red lines cross like that. I personally prefer to have it um, up the top a bit rather than in the center, but up to you. You can do a circle, a square, oval, any of these shapes here. I actually want to show you, though, some of their others, which is the main reason why I would use PicMonkey as well as their patterns tool. They have some really nice frames down here. Tons to choose from, as you can see. These ones, these are the ones that I really like. Nice dotted border, all these frames, really pretty. You could have just a colored background, have um, this one here, put your letter like R for your name. In the middle, I will do a couple of different um, designs, which will be in the blog post, which will accompany this video. I'll have a link down below just to show you some finished examples. I won't make them all while I do this video. It'll end up being too long, but I'll just show you some examples if you want some ideas. quite like this frame, so let's add that one in. And just left-click and drag to reduce the size. Just left-click again and drag with your mouse to move it around. I don't mind 
the black and the black together but if you want to you can change the color here if there are colors that you like to use and you want to keep it all coordinated you know you want to use the same colors for your printables and all your different colors maybe you want to do one cover um, where it's like a blue background with purple and then the other cover you do the reverse if there's colors that you like you can add them to what pick monkey calls a brand kit um, and you can see these ones down here are the ones that i've added which look quite nice if you're not sure about colors i will have a link down below to some of my favorite color tools um design seeds is my favorite though just if you want to Jump straight to the best one. Um, Google Design Seeds has some really nice color themes. You can also just move this thingy around until you get a color that you like. If there is a color um, that you like to use for everything and you've got the color code, you can type it in here, which is the six-digit hex code. You can also choose from some of their standard colors they've got um, here as well. Oh, I do like the red. The red look quite nice. But I think I'm going to go with pink pink and black always looks good okay so I'm happy with that you can also just fade it a bit if you don't want it to you want to see like part of the background but I personally prefer for it to block it fully um, so that is our frame now we need to add our text let's go to the text tool they do have some of these pre-done text things here but to me it's more like social media graphics or an invitation so I always just go add text if there is a font that you like to use um, that's a downloadable font. So there's tons of like custom fonts to choose from. I have another link down below for some of my favorite font websites. You can download a font and then upload that font file into PicMonkey and then you'll be able to use it um, in here. They do have plenty of pre-loaded fonts in here though as well um, if you want. So I'm going to do a monogram and for that it sounds a bit basic but I actually like using Times New Roman. So let's start with our monogram. So um, last name starts with W, so I'm going to make that my larger um, text. I like to keep it white. Um, if I'm doing a colored background, then white I think looks better. You could do the reverse where you make this a white background and then color text up to you. I'm going to just increase my font size to, let's say, like 400, even bigger. Let's double it and go 800 can have your letter in there that way you can do this slider thing but it doesn't seem to be that like accurate so I usually just enter in the number you can make it bold as well if you want to um, up to you if you want to change the font you can just click and pick a different one and do your font th um, that way I always do center align makes it a lot easier and just while I'm on that to make sure that it's aligned to the middle you want that red line to appear again and you see how that second red line I've got it horizontally and vertically that means it's in the center of your frame so that's what you want to see and then you can click away and that will be what will print so that looks quite good um, some fonts you do need to just do some manual tweaking some of them for whatever reason and depending on what letter you pick as well you just need to press the arrow key on your keyboard and that will move it down um, to wherever it looks good um, so that, has you, that is how you would do that one if you wanted to do a name just put put my own name in there type the name in and then reduce it down to Whatever text size, Oops, let's go 200, so maybe a bit bigger. If you were doing um, school subjects, you can do that as well. If you're doing multiple lines, then you'll want to change the line height. So let's say um, you wanted to do, you had legal studies, what it was called back when I was at school, whatever it's called these days. You can change the line height and make it more gappy or closer together. You can also change the letter spacing. I don't really like doing that. I like it closer together and move that down and then we can put that in there instead. So if you wanted to make all of your covers um, coordinated, you could have this one that you've created here and it will auto save whenever you're in PicMonkey, auto save it. And then if you go to your templates, go back to like the home button, you can just click these three dots here and click duplicate. Now I've got two copies, click edit image. And then you can just change this one for your next cover. So let's say you had um, math was your other one. And then you don't want them all to have a pink frame. Let's say you want a different colored frame. Click on your frame, change the color. Let's go with um, blue. That one's done. Go back to the home page. 
and then you can just keep duplicating and you can see it's very quick and easy to make um, a whole bunch of them. Let's go back into edit a copy. You can change the frame too. I just like a circle when I'm doing a cover. I don't know why. I just think a circle looks good. If you've got a long um, title though, if you were doing like a family binder and you had like names like um, cleaning schedules or something, I know that has a long text, then a square tends to look better with multiple lines of text. Two lines, okay with a circle, but if you're going to do three, I would go with a square frame instead. Um, now, I just did just want to show you if you wanted to add your own pattern. So one thing that's kind of... A little frustrating I've found I've not found a way to get rid of the texture or the background once you've added it so it's not showing like in a layer here for example that I can just delete and change out the um, pattern so you would need to go from scratch if anyone has a different way they've done something similar and they know how to delete out the pattern please do let me know because otherwise you need to go and make a new template I'm just going to make this at any size just to show you how you bring in a pattern yourself. So if you've got a digital paper, um, Etsy, great place to find heaps of them. They're very cheap and they're also really good as well if you want to do different colors. You might have um, polka dots is like your theme and then you can have different colors. So I just uploaded one that I've made in Photoshop, which is in my graphic design resources shop called Paper Cravings on Etsy. I'll have the link down below. So I just made this polka dot pattern. Upload it in, you just drag it from the file on your computer and drop it into PicMonkey. We've got our um, pattern in here. You just move it over to fit our template. You can resize it. I don't recommend resizing from the center there. You want to drag in from a corner and that will keep its proportions. See how it's still got the half circle on either side. So that's how you resize pattern. And then the same thing, you would just go into graphics, go into basic. Let's choose a different frame. And then you just add your text on top like I showed in the um, other video. If you wanted to use one of these ones here where it's like a white background, let's add that in. You can change that to you know, a color if you wanted to coordinate. And let's go with purple. Not a very nice color scheme, but you get the idea. You can do multiple colorways, lots of different options that you can do to customize. So that's how you do a binder cover or a planner cover. I will have some finished examples um, in the blog post link down below if you want to get some ideas. Don't forget to have a look at that other PicMonkey tutorial if you haven't already. And if there are any other tutorials you would like to see for making printables or any other um, software programs that you want me to make tutorials using, then please comment below and I will see. I might upload a tutorial. Um, just put the link in the comments below. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. I usually post a new planner related, either planner review, planner tutorial, etc. Um, each week. Don't forget to subscribe. The button is down below.